So I know what you may be thinking, oh no, why is he wearing Prime Radon's armor if we haven't seen him beat him yet? Well, we did beat him, but that footage will be shelved for a later date until we've dealt with the other Remembrance bosses. It's not just the main ones, you know? When translated, he means he wants to pad out the length of these videos so he has an excuse to turn it into a full-length film and have a major cash back from it. Fuck's sakes, don't say the quiet word out loud. The home hotline safety movie is doing decently, but it'll never compare to the Mario Party movie for the GameCube games. We should make a short film of all the Wii Mario Party titles, but that's like, what, three or four videos, Max? There wasn't a lot of Wii Mario Party games. Anyway, who are we going after today? We need to get through a specific side cave to reach a location to find the putrescent knight. Doesn't sound that nice. I wonder why it's called that. Because it's guarding St. Trina, the woman that Michaela shoved down into the hole where it is. I swear I was falling asleep during that entire thing. I wonder if the boss will be the name of this jail. Yep, it's the Lamenter. Time to get rid of this pest. These humanoid bosses are strange to me. They just act like us and aren't really that imposing. We'll never have a boss like Maria from Bloodborne ever again. She was super well done and peaked early. The hell is this guy trying to do? Flash me with a scary mask? I find it hard to believe that I need to pass through this place to even find the putrescent knight at all. You didn't even need your mimic and yet here he is. He helps when cleaning up the trash, you know? I don't want to waste time on some nobody when I'm on my way to a boss I am legit searching for. What, did he just outright fucking Alt F4? Oh God, it's the bullshit tactic from bosses no one cares about. Crystal Sage, Murgo's wet nurse. I mean, why even do this shit when it's just frustrating and also pointless? If I find the real one right away, it's all for naught. Give the devs some credit. They have to give cave bosses something interesting to do other than being a small hurdle in the game. I just did a quick look up and apparently going through the Lamenter's jail doesn't lead you to the night. It's just a side thing. What, who the fuck told me I had to do that? Um, nobody. Before we went in this place, you said in passing that you're just doing this for the grace since you did a skip from gravesite plane to Charo's hidden grave by plummeting to a specific spot near a statue of Marika. Hush, you're giving away our secrets, Obama. Filler for no reason. Okay, this is the way we're supposed to go for the putrescent night. I thought I had to beat the piss out of the Lamenter, but I guess he's just there for the memes. Well, now that the five fans of the Lamenter are pleased, we should focus on the goal at hand. Let's hope he isn't one of the strongest bosses ever. If this place didn't have a grace and it was a one-shot thing, I would have not been a happy man. Surprised we don't have a grace at the top of this fissure, though. Then this one wouldn't have been needed. It's kind of strange, but the devs cooked with everything else, so we can let this slide. Feels like we're going deeper into the anus of Mother Earth. Can we not think of that, please? I'm already dedicating myself to finding something with the name putrescent in it, so don't fucking say shit that can make me feel sick. That didn't connect with me, I call bullshit. Just ignore it and move on. Thinking about it will just get you killed. The hell are these lasers coming from? I think it's from those slinky rock things with eyes. They used to be so passive in the base game, they're hostile now. They always were hostile in the base game. They just didn't really care unless you attacked them or got too close to a bundle of them in a pile which can explode. I'll be mid-jump and they'll hit me and knock me into the abyss. I just have that feeling. This night guy must think he's all high and mighty for setting up this kind of security for someone people don't acknowledge much of. Well, for someone like Vati Vidya, who makes a killing based on lore, it's a decent gold mine for him. His old videos used to make me cry when I learned about the lore for some bosses in the other games. Yeah, the ones labeled prepare to cry. I remember those. All right, I think we've made it to our destination. Now, how the hell do I even get to him? Do you remember the Ring City DLC from Dark Souls 3? Yeah, what about it? Take, Take the, the plunge. plunge. Really? There hasn't been a boss or situation in this game that's told me I should fall and I'll be fine, but I guess if that's what it's asking for, I will do it. I got a grace in case I fuck it up, so here I go. If I clipped those rock edges, I'd surely be dead. I wonder what forces are in play that allow you to survive such high drops. I don't know, but I'm gonna wait until I see the tombstone icon. 
so I can summon. Because I don't know how strong this guy will be. Ah, so we remembered to turn on the music so we don't have to add ours in. Yeah, that was my bad. Oh, well, let's see if I'll break a controller or break his bones. He has remnants of the Orphan of Kosh, and I don't like that. Uh, and his horse is a separate entity to fight? Good thing I summoned my Mimic, holy hell. He's very unique, and that's kind of cool. I don't need the fancy art shit, Mimic. I need you to actually hit this thing. Kind of reminds me of Jack Skellington if Guillermo del Toro got a hold of the character. Holy shit, your comets are decimating this thing. I doubt it'll get into its second phase much before we kill it. This is our chance. You fucked up, my guy. Ha ha ha. Eat this and die. Worth it. Fuck yeah. And I was using something other than the cheap as hell blasphemous blade, so don't at me for this. Oh, they will cry about you using sorcery instead of fighting him blade to blade. Just you watch.